Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the channel. It's a Friday night, so today I'm just gonna get out there and see how, much, how fast can I make a hundred dollars. So let's go crazy. I'm gonna do a lot of spark, I think, and then uh, see if we can get some Ubers and Grubhub's got a, a task going on. Let's see how we can do it. So let's enter the Gigaverse. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a uh, Friday night going out after a little bit of a rough day at, at my other job. But uh, going out and, and trying to get some uh, get some cheddar going on here. First order I took was a Walmart Spark order. They've got a bunch of incentives going on in my market right now. Three for an extra $15. So the order I took here was a pretty decent one. Put it up on the screen. $28 for two miles. And the Walmart was only uh, five, six miles from my house. So heading over to pick up that one. Um, Dino Pool riding along with me. Earlier, uh, earlier I was looking at probably checking out the... the uh, what you would call it? I can't think of it. Doctor Strange movie. What do you guys think? Anybody in the comments go to see that movie? I'm a big Marvel fan, as you can tell with uh, with Deadpool. Um, so thinking about going checking that out. Give you guys an update what I think what I think of it when I get a chance to see it. But what what do you guys think? Uh, we're heading to the store. Check back in in a bit. All right. So pulled up to the Walmart, just waiting for them to bring out my order. Uh, usually this this Walmart's pretty good. It usually takes them less than a, less than five minutes, but it gives me a little break. It's a double order. Uh, we'll wait for them to load it up. Yeah, less than a minute for them to bring it out. Cool. They bring it and they take it away. Somebody else checked in, another driver, they said, but I see nobody else in my check-in spot, so they had to carry all that stuff back in. They'll come right back out with mine. Uh, no big deal. All right, first delivery done, off to do the second one. So close by, this is a pretty sweet order. People who are doing these deliveries, are you starting to see more and more notices? And you know, I'm seeing across all gig apps. Our drivers are not delivering stuff to the right address. I'm getting so many notes from customers. It doesn't matter what app. I just saw it on Instacart yesterday. I saw it here now on Spark today. Saw it on Uber the other day where the customer's leaving notes saying, make sure you're delivering to the right address. And they start identifying stuff in front of their house. Are, are you guys getting these same kind of notes? Are there just a lot of people, not drivers who are just not paying attention? Not to, I mean, the GPS took me directly to this address. This wasn't like a apartment. It was a house in a nice area. And the GPS took me directly to it. Um, I could see the house number, match it up with the address in the, in the instructions. So I just don't understand how a driver could have messed it up. You know, I know there are times where it's an apartment building and maybe there's something there that can cause you to to get lost and things like that. But even then I make sure that I, if I can't find it in those scenarios, I, I contact the customer just to confirm, hey, I'm here, right? I'm, is this the right apartment? You know, the number is matching what's in the directions, but the GPS is, you may be saying something different just to confirm it. But it sounds like a lot of drivers on these apps aren't doing any of this because I don't know how many times I've delivered an order through any of the apps in the last week or two in my market at least where there aren't instructions from the customer making it sound like they haven't had stuff their stuff delivered to the right address before the instacart order i had yesterday the customer literally left the notes please make sure you deliver to the correct address i'm tired of not getting my stuff <laughs> i don't know how much more you could do to make a customer mad than not to do that so um, just just food for thought there heading off to the second delivery check in after i've dropped it all right, fourth trip to the door. I like my arrangement game. Milk, last run. All right, so Friday night rush, dropped off the second delivery, heading back over to the Walmart, see if I can catch another spark order. Wait a few minutes there, and if I can't, then I'll start driving down to the food area. Got uh, Uber turned on, I'll pop up. Got this inbox notice from them today, $19 in my area, $19, uh, $19 an hour average. Have has any of you guys in your market been seeing this kind of stuff? It's probably in the last two or three weeks that I'll get a notice from Uber Eats, you know, once a week. Uh, 
three weeks ago it was $24 an hour. A week later it was $22 an hour. The last week it was 20, now it's 19. So are they just getting more drivers who are taking the lower crap offers? So the lower hourly wage keeps going down for it. Um, when I do it, I've, Uber, I'm usually making uh, 26 to $35 an hour, depending on yeah, depending on the orders that are out there. If I can't get it from there, then I'll look for it from somewhere else. But are you guys getting it? I'll also show on the screen this uh, this Grubhub quest that they just sent me. Um, guaranteed extra $28 uh, if you do seven orders without skipping any two. Um. All right, so I grabbed the Grubhub. Look, maybe tonight is going to be a Grubhub quest. I, have, I rarely do Grubhub that much because the offers have been so bad in my market and I can bounce around to other apps but hey if they're gonna pay me tonight maybe i'll do this quest uh, the order i just took right now is uh 15 15 and some change for nine miles four of it being to the store at buffalo wild wings so hidden over there we'll catch up as we get there all right almost over to this uh buffalo wild wings and getting a lot of crazy offers coming up i'll show you this instacart one that makes no sense at all it's for michael's but it says zero items, I don't understand. And it started at like $9 and it's been like half an hour and it's got up to $12 or whatever. What is going on here, man? And then I'll show you a Walmart Spark order, uh, which is, you know, just absolute garbage. How somebody's not tipping on a Friday night. Uh, yeah, $7 order, even though it's only a mile, you know, food delivery, I might take it, but not for a Spark order where I gotta wait for them to load up 40 bags into my car and carry them up to the person's door for nothing. No, thank you. I'll gladly take this uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Pulling up to the Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's get this order picked up. All right, doing a little dirty multi-appy, and I'll show up uh, the Uber offer I got. It was for $15 for Chick-fil-A going two miles from the store, and I had to wait a little bit on the Grubhub offer, um, but they're both going the same direction, so I'm going to take it. Uh, so this will end up being 15 something on the Grubhub and uh, 15 something on the uber so 30 bucks not bad probably take me half an hour 45 minutes to knock this out 30 bucks in an hour not bad for a friday night so let's get on to these drop-offs all right so dropped off that chick-fil-a delivery and on the way to drop off this buffalo wild wings on the grub hub <laughs> i just literally had a panic moment for a second i forgot that i loaded up the uh, buffalo wild wings order in the hot bag but i put the hot bag in the trunk in a, in a uh, carrier that i have in the trunk i'm used to you uh, putting it on my back seat in the carrier that i have there but this time i put it in the trunk and i had the chick-fil-a up with me in the front in the carrier in the hot bag and I was looking in the back seat for the Buffalo Wild Wings. I oh my God, what did I do? <laughs> did I lose it? And so uh, I was in a panic mode that, oh man, maybe I set the bag on top of the car and it fell off the car and rolling away. I don't know. <laughs> Senior moment. So once all that happened, then, uh, you know, once I dropped off the Chick-fil-A, check the trunk and yeah, I put it in the carrier. So off to deliver this Buffalo Wild Wings. Catch you in a bit. All right. Driving to the second drop off, the Buffalo Wild Wings people just don't know how to drive man i'm in the turn lane that uh, you know i'm in the right turn lane there's two turn lanes to make a left turn onto a street uh, luckily i didn't have the camera out otherwise i probably wouldn't have caught it <laughs> i wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to see it but the person on my left who was supposed to make a left all of a sudden decided to go straight and just almost clipped me i had slammed on the horn real quick when i saw them doing it they braked really fast luckily yeah the, the uh Gods are watching over me. I, I, I should have gotten hit on that one. I just got lucky. So people got to pay attention when they're driving. <laughs> just a lot of crazy times. And then uh, as I'm as I'm going, I got the, the apps firing off all the different ones. And Uber sent me one. I don't understand how they can allow a customer to order from 15 miles away from the restaurant. That's just ridiculous. And it's rush hour. It's dinner time. It will easily, where I am, out in the suburbs area and this order was taking you into downtown uh, closer to the airport uh, 15 miles that's easily an hour and a half if not longer in rush hour traffic that's if there's no accidents on the freeway ridiculous these apps are ridiculous at doing that and it was 16 dollars for the 15 miles so an hour and a half yeah no thank you shut that down all right, truly bouncing around. Grab the Spark order, $22 is a $15 tip, two miles from the store, but the pickup is until about 25 minutes from now. 
So while I'm waiting for that, grab the Uber order that's uh, a little over $8 for three miles from uh, Lin's Chinese restaurant. It's a great little Chinese place in my market. Um, they've got a lot of different uh, uh, areas or restaurants, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they're pretty good. So they usually have the order ready when I get there. Um, and I'm very close by, so heading over to the pickup. All right, is it just me or is Instacart? in your guys' markets during dinner time, some of the worst. I mean, it's my bread and butter that I usually was all hyped with was Instacart, but I'm gonna put up some of these orders. I, these people are out of their minds. It's the dinner time. I'm sure they're ordering There comes the crowd up. And it's just ridiculous. Two or three orders in a row with no tips, 71 units. Are we crazy? We're out of our minds, people. Yeah, how the heck, I'm picking up this Chinese food order from Lin's Chinese. I'm getting paid more than to shop for 70 units. Instacart, you're crazy, man. Get out of here. All right, still waiting to go to that Walmart Spark. It's not due for another 10 minutes to pick up. So at least in between there, grabbing a couple. Grab that Uber, dropped off the Lin's, then immediately grabbed a, a Grubhub for picking up from 54, 50, 46th Street. I always say 54, 46th Street Pizzeria for the Grubhub. All right, picked up that spark order, uh, $22. Got alcohol in it, but no big deal. It's it's 1.4 miles from the store. So this guy's tipping, I think I saw a $15 tip. So this is a banger order to knock out real quick. Pulled up to the Walmart, it took them less than uh, two minutes to come to the car and load me up. So heading over to make this delivery, make a quick $22. Uh, so far it looks like I've been out for about two hours and 10 minutes. I've not been really keeping track. I know I left the house at a certain time, but I started up grid wise when I came. And so um, shows I've been out for about two hours and 10 minutes. And I think I'm close to a hundred after I dropped this order off. I had the starting order from Spark for $28. And then I had um, the two orders, one from Uber, one from Grubhub that were 30. So that's 60 right there. This order right here is another 20. That puts me at 80 and I banged out uh, an Uber and a Grubhub in between there. So I'm close to hundred bucks in two hours. This has been a great evening, great evening. It's a Friday night. So I don't think I put that many miles on the car. Uh, this might be turned out to be a quick, quick night for me. Um, I didn't work one day during the week. So uh, I'm trying to make up for it with today, but I don't know. My energy level is getting, getting these banger orders I've gotten it's kind of got me <laughs> ready to be done uh, if I catch a corner shop that would be the way to end my day I like to get those because they're quick and they're usually 30 or 40 dollar orders I've had the app on the whole time haven't seen anything I've got all kinds of apps going right now at one time I've got a Grubhub app on I've got the Uber app on I've got uh, corner shop Instacart Spark uh, I didn't turn on DoorDash because in my market that's that'll be the lowest offering app uh, it's so saturated, so many drivers on it here in my market that are taking all these lowball offers that it's just amazing to me. You know, the pay here has got to be under uh, under ten dollars an hour. I, I've, I've tried to do a, uh, probably do a video where I just do nothing but DoorDash for the day and see what I get. My acceptance rate's down at like six percent. Um, I rarely turn it on just because whenever I do, it's always super super trash orders, and I can catch orders from the other apps. That are much better but we're off to deliver this spark order and let's see how it goes all right it's a spark kind of evening so it dropped off that 22 dollars spark put up on the screen this banger order that just came in from spark 32 dollar curbside pickup for eight miles all day take it all day just the only thing i don't like is that uh it's now 7 15 and i'm not allowed to pick it up till 7 45 even though it shows that they've already got it ready at the store so it's kind of stupid, you know, that they that they do that. Um, just makes me have to kill time for a little bit. And so we'll see if I can catch an Uber in between because um, I've got, you know, almost 15 minutes to wait for them to have the order before I can mark that I'm here for pickup. Even though I'm sitting right in the parking lot and the order is already shopped, you know, it's curbside pickup. So the Walmart associates do the shopping for it. All right, dropped off the first order, uh, first delivery for that spark. Heading on to the second. Got about 10 minutes to get there. So yeah, this one's a $32 uh, 
a spark order, two, two, two deliveries, both houses, both fairly close, a uh, total of like seven miles. So not bad. I mean, even having to sit and wait the extra 15 minutes before I could pick up was, you know, why it's annoyance, it's still $32 is gonna take me less than an hour to do this. And, you know, low miles, this is a banger order. Can't turn this down. Um, so we're heading over to drop it off. How's you guys' day been going? Appreciate any new subscribers to the channel. I'm on the new channel, just trying to get off the de get off the ground and see how I go. Uh, kind of helps talking as I'm driving along, so you don't feel like you're alone when you're doing this kind of job. I know, um, as I watch a lot of other gig tubers, I think that's why a lot of us do it. Right? It's kind of helpful to get out, and try and relate with the rest of the uh, rest of you guys out there who do this kind of work, um, even if it's part time. I mean, I know there's a lot of full timers out there. But there's a lot of part-timers, especially, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty old guy, so <laughs> I'm hitting up in my uh, elderlies. I'm halfway through, I guess is what you would call it. And uh, I have a regular job, but this is a nice way to get some exercise and earn good extra side income, you know, for a couple hours a day. Get out there, get to meet some people. Um, for me, in my market, having just moved here, having, you know, not having lived here for a long time, it really is helping me to become familiar with my city where I live. You know, I get to see all the places that I probably would not have normally seen if I was just sitting at home on the couch and ordering all these things. Um, so I'm starting to get to a point where I don't need to use the GPS a lot. Um, yeah, it's not to say <laughs> I don't use it, but um, I'm getting to a point where I'm familiar with the restaurants that I go to, which ones are going to take longer than others, and you know, how fast can you get stuff going. And I feel like kind of blessed at least. I know I know a lot of people have it a lot harder in their markets that aren't as busy. Um, my market's pretty good, pretty good size, pretty good. Uh, got a lot of busy going on, um, so it's keeping me going. But uh, put down in the comments, how do you guys, uh, how do you guys cope through the day doing this kind of stuff? Um, and how are you liking the channel so far? Would like any feedback, positive or negative. Uh, you know, I got the mask on, kind of a kind of. I'm not too comfortable showing my face yet. Um, I will get to a point, right? I, I've got to get to that point where I will make videos without the mask. But I feel like the mask is kind of a way to hopefully give people a chuckle when they see me doing this. Um, I have not gone into a, a business yet with it on, but I, I definitely will. I've got to get my uh, get somebody to go along with me to, to take the, the footage. You know, my kids are kind of hesitant to go into the store. They don't want to get embarrassed. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how I am. I'm kind of bold like that. I'll, I'll go. I'm willing to go in and, and see it. I definitely will do it at Halloween because nobody's going to comment then. But I'm kind of hesitant right now. But it seen Nug's video the other day where he was doing dressed as Ronald McDonald going into restaurants. Uh, I don't know, man. That guy's he's he is crazy. He's goat. I wish I could do that. I, I, but I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna go in on one of these nights to you know, a couple of different restaurants. Probably do a shopping trip. And see how it goes. Most stores don't like you to film inside, uh, you know. So we'll see how it goes. But off to do the second delivery, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, see if we're going to call it a night, or you know, again, if anybody's been watching this channel and and gets the name Gigaholic, there's a reason why it's a holic, right? Alcoholic. <laughs> I kind of feel like it's somewhere in that neighborhood that you become addicted to these apps. Right, they pop stuff up. The, Come on, you know, we need drivers right now. You know, you be sitting at home doing nothing, and all of a sudden they'll start popping stuff to you. And uh, you know, once you get going, at least for me, it's sometimes it's hard to just stop. You know, <laughs> I've hit my goal for the day, and they're still popping orders up, and I just haven't stopped. So, you know, at least the one good thing is I don't do it all day. I don't know if uh, maybe that would get me to be not, not as addicted because it might beat me up to the point where like, I can't take this anymore. Um, but yeah, I usually target trying to get uh, 700 to a thousand dollars a week doing this on the side and usually can get there. I mean, there'll be some weeks where I take time off and don't do it, but uh, you know, other times I'll, I'll grind. Saturday and Sunday is usually the big grind for me, but you know, last weekend I just didn't feel it. So only did a few hours here or there and then just said, Hey, call it a day but uh i really appreciate anybody who joins the channel please subscribe like the videos don't like them comment any feedback would be really appreciated i know there uh, you know i'm a small channel just starting out and 
There's a lot of other gig tubers out there that are definitely way better than, than anything I can do yet, but I'm trying to learn. So I'm hoping to get my video editing skills down and start adding some other things to this. Maybe get to, get it uh, get it moving pretty quick. So really appreciate you guys. Let's get this second delivery going. We'll check back in. All right, what do we see? <laughs> Put up the logo. I got a t-shirt with it. <laughs> Check them out if you want over on Spreadshirt. Put the link down in the description. But here we go. Hit a place that had a gate code. Thank the gig gods or whatever you want to call them. I'm really having some luck tonight. Uh, no gate code provided, but luckily the guy in front of me was got to be a resident. And he was pulling in and opening the gate. So piggyback in is what you call it. You know, the sign said something about the gate will, you know, gate will only allow one car at a time. But come on. That's gig gig workers know that that don't mean nothing man hit the gas and get through the gate all right remember the spark lottery i've been telling you about where let's see what's in the trunk oh no this is only one case and it's a house and they're paying good so let's get it going Ooh, get these new work gloves let's see how they look Nice sign. Crazy right, I said I was an addict, didn't I? I was gonna be done and was pulling away, already thinking about what am I gonna have for dinner and getting set the directions to head for home. And, and uh, yeah, as normal, I should have turned off all the apps, <laughs> but that little adrenaline hit of seeing that spark offer pop up for another order $16 a mile from the store, one order. Ten dollar tip, couldn't turn it down, and I'm right, I'm uh, four miles from the Walmart, so I just couldn't turn it down. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you uh, following the same thing. Put in the comments if you do. Uh, that will be my last order. <laughs> so heading over to the store, we'll pick it up. Uh, one thing you can do in Spark in the Spark app, because um, you got to be careful uh, with the orders that you take. Right, you can at least see the address you're gonna to deliver to before you accept the order. You can see the mileage, you can see whether there's a tip. If it's a stacked order, you can't see which customer is tipping, which customer is not. I've not been able to see that. Tips on Spark come in 24 hours later. So if I take a $32 order today and $17 of that was a tip, I will not see that $17 until 24 hours later. The other thing with Spark is you can't cash out immediately. Right, so your pay um, is given to you every Tuesday. Hopefully at some point they'll change that so you can cash out immediately. But as of right now, uh, what is it? Starting in May 2022, they do not allow you to cash out immediately. Um, I'm sure they'll probably change that at some point if they wanna get a lot lot more drivers on because I know a lot of, for me, I don't, I don't mind it as much. I don't need it in, immediate, but I know there's a lot of people who are doing this and need that money to get through their lives on a daily basis and need to be able to cash out. You know, might need to go get groceries for the night, might need to get food for their kids, you know. And so this is not as tempting a, a app side hustle for those folks because you don't see your money. It's almost like a W-2. You do get paid weekly. Um, every Tuesday, the money comes into your branch account, right? On Spark, they give you a branch account and your money goes into there and you can take it from there and transfer it to a regular bank account if you have it or you as branch is really a bank account and you do get a debit card with it there's a you can have a card on your phone as well to put in your apple wallet or your google pay so you can pay with your phone as well if you don't want to get a bank account in my case i take the money the minute it comes in on tuesdays and i immediately remove it and transfer it over into my regular uh, bank account, setting aside the taxes and whatever else is needed, car maintenance, all that kind of stuff. Got to remember all that stuff when you're doing this. Right? Keep all that in mind. So um, you got to, but when you <laughs> got sidetracked there, when you're going to take a spark order, you can see the, uh, like I said, you can see the tip up front, you can see the delivery addresses, and you can even see the items, right? It'll say small order, medium order, large order, extra large. Don't be intimidated by extra large. Uh, extra large to me was some pillows sometimes, yeah, or a big uh, comforter set. 
Uh, that's not heavy. That's not large. Now, the one time I had an order that was medium, and I had to cancel it. Well, it was $30 stacked order. The first order was delivering to the apartment a 60-inch TV, uh, third floor. I didn't want a chance, you know, carrying that up there. I'm an older guy. I don't want to hurt, injure myself, take the chance of injuring myself. I didn't. It's probably not that heavy. Uh, but I don't want a chance, and I don't know how large it was going to be. You know, I got to rearrange my car to fit a 60-inch TV in there and a mount. Also, going to an apartment, um, you know, I, I was hesitant. Uh, you know, uh, this job has it does sour you at some point to thinking that you know somebody's ordering a 60-inch TV to be delivered to their house through this through these apps uh, you know, to a third-story apartment. I've had bad luck with apartments where it was not in a good part of town, from what I could see from the address. Um, I've not had good luck. I've had people report, you know, I don't got my stuff. They're ordering iPads, they're ordering iPods. I don't even take those orders anymore because it's pretty much a guarantee that somebody's ordering that stuff and they're gonna say they never got the order. You take the hit for it as the driver, as the shopper, as the delivery person, and it's basically stealing from their home is the way I look at it. You know, the police can't ever get them. Yeah, if you were to go in the store, you call it shoplifting. Uh, here, these apps have made it so easy for people to steal from their house. Um, at least Instacart seemed to implement within the last couple weeks that I've been doing it that I've got, I did get a Dyson vacuum through one of my orders before and Instacart implemented where the customer had to sign on their phone while I was with them. There's no dispute at that point that they've got the item, right? That's kind of how if FedEx or, or uh, Amazon, UPS, any of those are delivering expensive items. They usually make you sign for it, uh, you know, so they can't, so you can't report that you don't get, you don't have it. And I think on Uber, what I see sometimes on Uber Eats that a customer has asked for a pin, my experience, at least in even asking many of the customers, uh, it's usually somebody who's reported their food missing more than two or three times. Um, and then the pin is required. Addition, not just that, there are customers who request the pin uh, usually I've seen it, I've had it mostly in apartments, but I have had somebody in the house who said it, somebody stealing their food off the porch or the driver's not delivering it to their to their address, right? So they put into the app, an Uber app you can put in, I want a pin, right? And that forces the driver to interact with the customer and get the pin in order to be able to deliver it. It's proof that you delivered it. Uh, the only downside of those is if the customer doesn't come to the door, then you're standing there waiting forever, which I haven't had knock on what happened to me yet. But we're heading to this, what should be the last Walmart spark order of the day. You can see it went from light to starting to get dusk. It's going to get to, to dark. Um, and I don't like to be out too late in the dark carrying people's stuff around. Um, it's harder to see addresses, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. The pay starts can be good at going later into the night. I just try to avoid those. Um, but if you want to get a lot of extra money, there, there are peak pays in a lot of these apps as it starts to get later, especially Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. So let's head off to pick this up, catch you up in a bit. My friends, this is how you make $147 in four hours on a Friday night, bouncing around to the various gig apps. Fantastic evening. Wish you all the best. Hope you're having a good evening and we'll see you in the next video. Good night, guys.